So you have an animated movie for me. Yes, sir, I do. It's about a bunch of cute talking food products in a grocery store. Oh, that's cute. It's kind of like Toy Story, but in a supermarket. Yeah, and every morning they sing a little song to start the day. Uh, starting the day off with a little song is tight. And towards the end of the movie, they're all gonna bang each other. What? All the food. They're, they're all gonna bang. Oh, you mean like a little subtle adult joke that only the parents get? I love when Pixar does that. No, no, no. I mean like full-on graphic intercourse between all the food items. Oh, yeah, it really makes you picture some stuff, doesn't it? Mm-hmm, yeah, it does. Hey, give me one second, okay? What you doing? I'm just leaving myself a little reminder. Cancel all lunch plans and dinner plans and any other plans involving food ever? Probably a good call. So what's the movie about exactly? Well, the main character is a hot dog sausage and his name is Frank. Right. Do you get it? I do. Yeah? Yes. Do you have anything to say or? It's, uh, it's, it's very clever. Thanks. So anyway, all Frank wants to do is to get inside this hot dog bun named Brenda. Okay. Do you get it? The sausage wants to go inside the bun. Yeah, I get it. The sausage wants to go inside the bun. Right, yeah, I understand. Like how people do sex, kind of? Yeah. So. <clears throat> uh, very clever once again. I know. So what exactly happens in the movie? Well, the food in the supermarket believe that humans are gods, and when they get chosen, they get brought to a place called the Great Beyond. Oh, like an afterlife kind of metaphor. Exactly, and so Frank and Brenda can't hook up until they go there. Wait, so is the Great Beyond a metaphor for the afterlife or for marriage? I don't know. Fair enough. But then a jar of honey mustard's gonna get returned to the supermarket, and he's gonna be like, guys, there is no Great Beyond. The gods just eat us. Uh-oh. And so Frank's gonna go on kind of a quest to find out about the Great Beyond. I guess that's interesting. Interesting. And he's gonna run into this Native American character named Firewater. Isn't that kind of offensive? Maybe, but I figure I'll just show every single stereotype there is and it'll all kind of cancel itself out. Is that gonna work? I think so. I mean, I have a bagel who's Jewish. Wow. And Grits who's African American and hates crackers. Oh boy. A Twinkie that's homosexual. Please stop. And the fruits are homosexual too. Please stop. Anyway, you get the point. And people aren't gonna get offended by all that. Listen, I ran it by a bunch of children at the local schoolyard and they all thought it was hilarious. I'm not a lawyer, but you probably shouldn't hang out around schoolyards. Okay, I'll try to keep that in mind. Good. So anyway, there's also this character named Douche that wants to kill Frank. Why is he named Douche? Because he's an actual douche. Wait, so it's not just food that's alive? No, we're also gonna meet some toilet paper, a condom, a bag of chips. The bag is what's alive? Yeah, the bag talks. Aren't Brenda and Frank gonna be in bags at the beginning of the movie? They are. So what's the logic behind what's alive and what's not? The what? The logic. Oh, hey, just give me one second, okay? What you doing? Siri, define the word logic. Uh, that's your wallet. Ah, uh, haha, it is. Did you really think that was a phone? Yeah, sometimes my brain doesn't work so brain. That actually explains a lot. I guess it does. Anyway, we're also gonna have food puns. Oh yeah? Yeah, like at a certain point, the douche is gonna be like, oh, this beat is sick, but then there's an actual beat standing next to him. That's pretty good. Right? So we're gonna have all of those in there. What? What's up? You said we're gonna have all of those in there? Yeah, all the food puns, every every pun in existence. That seems kind of excessive, but you thought the beat thing was funny. Well, yeah, kind of, but I don't necessarily want like a thousand more food puns. Well, we're gonna have like a thousand more food puns. I feel like that's gonna get old pretty quick though. Well, I could take them all out if you want, but the runtime's gonna drop to like 45 minutes. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to keep them in then. Great, so what other kinds of jokes are there gonna be? Well, I'm glad you asked because there actually is gonna be another type of joke. Wait, like one other kind of joke? Yes. Well, let's hear it. Well, the food products are gonna say curse words, right? Okay, so... Yeah, that's the other kind of joke. Just them swearing, that's it? Yeah, cause sausages wouldn't normally swear, you know? Sausages don't normally say anything at all. Right, but if one came alive in an animated movie, you wouldn't expect it to swear. I guess not. Well, there you go. So we're gonna really, really, really lean into that. Once again, I feel like that might get old pretty quick. Once again, if I cut it out, we're down to like 45 minutes of runtime. Well, I guess we'll have to keep it in then. Awesome. So how does the movie end? Well, the characters are gonna realize that they can kill gods, so they're just gonna slaughter a bunch of humans. Oh my God. Yeah, a whole lot of dead bodies. Seems like it's gonna be hard to get a satisfying message for the audience with a violent end like that. Actually, super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh really? Yeah, it's because the gods are dead that they have the giant food orgy. So the message is that there is no god and everybody should just pursue hedonism and self-indulgence? Something like that, I don't know. Well, it's better than no message, I guess. So what do you think? Well, I think whatever animation studio we go with is gonna appreciate the opportunity to do something different on this movie. Oh yeah, everyone's gonna have a great time working on this. I'll make sure it personally. Hey guys, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch. I appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you like, share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. We also have a ton of these on the channel, so you can binge watch those if you want. There is a lot of them. And also let me know what other movies I should make these for. And as usual, check back soon for a new one. Buh bye bye